that basically describes it. That 100% describes it. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's, it's unfortunately true. No. Nah. Why? Why do you gotta do that to her? How's it going, everyone? This is Camden McDonald, and y'all read the title, so y'all know exactly what's gonna happen. Welcome to episode three of me reacting to history memes. So let's not waste any more time and get right onto it. When you were bigger, served as a hospital ship, and was sunk by a naval mine of the Imperial German Navy, but everyone only remembers your sister, Titanic, because she had a piece of ice. Angry but noises. Mm-hmm, unfortunately that is true. Because some people don't know this, but the Titanic did have two sister ships, the RMS Olympic and the RMS Britannic. Well, RMS was short-lived because Britannic would later be commissioned by the Royal Navy and turned into a hospital ship. So she became HMHS Britannic. And on November 21st, 1916, she struck a mine left by a German U-boat, sank in 55 minutes, killing 30 of her crew. Um, yeah, she does get overshadowed a lot by her younger sister Titanic for many different reasons. But you have to remember, the Britannic is also pretty famous because she was the largest ship lost in the First World War. And yet other battleships get all the credit, and yet Britannic seems to get buried under, no pun intended. In the name of the Catholic Church, you will not divorce your wife, King Henry. Are uh, you threatening me, Master Pope? The church will decide your fate. I am the church. <laughs> yep. That basically describes it. That 100% describes it. See, uh, King Henry VIII, he wanted to divorce his first wife, Catherine of Aragon. Mostly because not only did she have a couple failed births here and there, but she was only able to give birth to one healthy kid. A girl. When he wanted a boy. And he realized that he married his brother's widow. And in the Bible, it says that you can't do that. And that person shall be childlessness. So, and it was also around this time when King Henry came across a very beautiful girl, Anne Boleyn. And then he realized, okay, yeah, the Bible says it right here. I made a mistake marrying my brother's widow and now divorce is the only option for me to get a male heir. And for two years, he had a divorce trial, and in the end, the Pope said, no. So, King Henry did the only logical thing he could. He removed England from the influence of the Pope and set up his own English church. And thus, he divorced Catherine of Aragon and married Anne Boleyn. Public schools in the 80s. George Washington's dentures were made of wood. Not true. Historians, George Washington's dentures were made from many of materials like lead, ivory, and even the teeth of slaves. Now that is true. Because George Washington did have some dental problems throughout his life, and he did have some fake teeth that were made of lead, ivory, and other human teeth. But a common myth is that they were made of wood, but that myth is not true. George Washington's teeth were not made of wood, and if they were, then then you would get splinters all over your tongue when you're trying to eat something. Oh. The RMS Lusitania is seen here being promoted by a German U-boat to the rank of submarine. No. Nah. Why? Why do you gotta do that to her? That's just, that's just rude. <laughs> that is just rude on so many levels. Oh uh, yeah, but yeah. Lusitania sunk by a German U-boat, German U-20 to be specific. She was one of two major reasons that the United States entered World War One. The other one being the Zimmerman telegram. <sighs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Napoleon has left Elba and is on his way to Paris with a thousand men. Panic. You have a much bigger army to stop and arrest him. Calm. Your army units change sides and join Napoleon as he marches on to take back power. Panic. Yeah? That happened to uh, King Louis the 17th, if I'm correct, who was the brother of King Louis the 16th after Napoleon was dethroned from power. He became the new monarch, and it was like the French Revolution had never happened in the first place. 
But just like before the French Revolution, he really didn't do much. And now Napoleon has left Elba with a thousand of his own men, and he started marching back to Paris. And when Louis heard this, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna send an army to stop and arrest him. But, like the meme suggests, they all joined his side. And some of them even started proclaiming, long live the emperor. Armas Titanic, society, Armas Olympic, and HMHS Britannic. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's, it's unfortunately true, because everyone only focuses on Titanic, and then by doing so, they forget that she had two other sisters who succeeded her, and also had pretty famous careers. And yet, just like in this example, society only focuses on Titanic, while Olympic doesn't really get much of the glory, and Britannic is mostly forgotten. But to be honest, I feel like it should be kind of opposite. I feel like Britannic... Britannic and Olympic here should switch places because I feel like Britannic is a little more famous than the Olympic because like Titanic, the Britannic was also sunk. And yeah, it, I, I don't know how else to describe it. 1914, wake up, come on, snap out of it. 1915, the rest of the world has been at war for two and a half years, killing millions. It's no use, he's in isolation. 1916. Remember how the Germans sank that British ship with some Americans on it? April 6, 1917. Yeah, that basically describes it, but like I said before, that's not the only reason we entered the war. The final straw wasn't the Lusitania, it was the Zimmermann telegram, which was sent by Germany down to Mexico. Because I guess in Germany's mind, this was around 30 or 40 years or so after the Mexican-American War, in which Mexico lost a lot of territory to the United States. So I guess in Germany's mind, they thought, if we sent this to Mexico, and because they lost their land to, to the United States, I'm pretty sure they might want to get it back in the future. So maybe if we sent this to them, they will actually invade America. And as you all know, the British intercepted the message, showed it to the United States, and the United States was like, Code Red, America. <laughs> Olympic surviving the war and was only scrapped due to newer ships outclassing it. Britannic being sunk by German mines while serving as a hospital ship. Titanic hit in an iceberg and sinking on its main voyage. That basically describes all three of them in a couple simple sentences. Yeah, Olympic was the youngest sister, but yet she outlived her older sisters by 20 or so years. Olympic served from 1911 to 1935 when she was scrapped along with the Mauritania of the Cunard line. And Britannic, she came in in around 1914, and yeah, the war broke out, so she wasn't turned into a passenger vessel, she was turned into a hospital ship, and was sunk on November 21st, 1916 by a German mine. And Titanic, launched in 1912, and on her maiden voyage, struck an iceberg and sank, killing 1,496 people. <laughs> the Confederacy seceding from the Union, West Virginia seceding from the Confederacy. Uno reverse card, yep. That basically describes it, because Virginia was part of the Confederacy when they seceded from the Union. But a large, a large amount of people from the western counties of Virginia wanted to stay loyal to the Union, and so they eventually broke off and formed their own state of West Virginia, which was loyal to the Union. So yeah, this meme 100% describes it in perfect accuracy. Soviet Union pushes Germany out of Poland. Poland, we're liberated! Soviet Union, well, yes, but actually no. <laughs> yeah, because after the Soviet Union won the war, they occupied many of their states that they invaded. Poland was one of them. And yeah, they basically became Soviet puppet states. And Churchill pro proclaimed that an iron curtain had descended across the continent. And it won't be until the Soviet Union collapses that all these Soviet puppet states were able to form their own governments and thus secede from the Soviet Union. Suck at naval combat, but excel at ground combat. Attach bridge to ship. Turn naval combat into ground combat. Yeah? That actually describes the Romans in a couple simple words. Cause yeah, I don't really have to do much explaining here. Cause this is exactly how it happened during the First Punic War because the Romans did excel at ground combat, but naval combat, they had almost no, no... 
advantage, I should say, against the Carthaginians. But, attach bridge to ship? That bridge was called the Corvus. So, the way it works was, if one ship is sitting right here, at the front of one of the ships is a large brass... It's like a knife. And when they would come up to their side, they would just ram them, break them in half, and sink them. That's how it worked. And the Corvus kind of screwed up the Carthaginians' plans, because the Corvus was basically just a large, a large bridge attached to their ship. So once the Carthaginians would start to ram them, then they would drop the Corvus onto their deck, they would run across the Corvus and onto the enemy ship, and yeah, they would just kill them all, because they excelled at ground combat. And yeah, it worked really well, until they got rid of it, and then they continued to suck. Alright guys, well that concludes episode 3 of me reacting to history memes, and this was, once again, very funny and very fun to do. And I do really enjoy this. This actually gives me a good laugh while also giving me time to educate you on certain subjects throughout history. So yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.